Hello, art friends, and welcome back to Art Class with Mr. Mazer. This week, we're going to do a fun drawing of the character Monchi from the new movie, The Mitchells vs. the Machines. So I loved Monchi. He is kind of a weird pug that acted all crazy in the movie. So we're going to draw this silly little dog today. So you're going to need a paper, a pencil, and something to color with. So, first thing we're going to do is start with Monchi's nose. So we're going to go to the middle of the paper, and then you go up maybe about two inches or so. And we're going to start with just a little upside down U line, just like that. Very simple. Then I'm going to do a very skinny U right in the middle there. And then I'm going to do that same shape over this way and that way. Now I'm coloring this in, but I suggest you wait and do that with something black a little bit later. Now the next thing I'm going to do is draw his eyes. Now you know pugs have crazy alien eyes that go all wonky and point in different directions, so these can really look anyway. So I'm going to go from my nose over to the side. and I'm going to make kind of a almost a circle, maybe a little bit of an oval on this side. And I'm going to do another one over here. I think I'm going to make this one a little lopsided. Because you know pugs be looking crazy. All right. Now I'm going to do the pupils. And I'm going to do those pointing in different directions too. Because pugs can't focus. So <laughs> two pupils just like that. Now I'm going to connect my the bridge of the nose over here so i'm going to go to the side and do a nice little arch right over top of that nose and connect it back to the other eye now i'm going to give him two eyelids so we're going to arch here and that right back there and i'm going to do the same thing over here so start at the top of the eye arch it over and then we got our eyelids now, I'm going to make a single, kind of a curved line coming out of the nose there. And we're going to connect this to create the top of his lip. So, I'm going to come to the side of the eye, curve around, and bring it right back to that line I just drew. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on the other side. So, I'm going to go curve around and connect it. So, now we're starting to see that pug face. All right. Now my next step, I'm going to draw his tongue. So I'm going to go to the middle. I'm going to make a nice U shape just like this. If you've seen the Mitchells versus the machines, it's on Netflix and he licks a lot of stuff. And this movie is pretty funny. I definitely recommend watching it. So I'm going to go from the side of my tongue here and curve and then come down straight. And then I'm gonna do another curve over to the side. I'm gonna jump over that line and leave a little bit of a gap, just like that. And then I'm gonna finish off his mouth. I'm gonna do kind of a curved line there and behind. And I'm gonna connect this here so it kind of looks a little 3D like it's laying over there. All right. Now moving on to the top of the head. So I'm gonna connect from my eyelids, do a nice arch right over there. Okay, it's got that. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is draw those ears. So I'm gonna to go to his eye and draw a straight line, just like that. Then I'm gonna turn it into kind of like the letter T. So I'm gonna curve it that way. Then I'm going to make the ear kind of fold over. So I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to go up, stop, and then turn down and then back to the head. So we got a nice little floppy ear hanging off the side there. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat those same steps over here. So we're going to do a line coming out of the eye and then a curved T and then I'm going to bring that back, go down, 
and then bring it back to the head. All right, so now we got two floppy ears. We got a nice pug face going. So I'm gonna start with his body now. So I'm gonna go over to the side. I'm gonna do a little curved line this side. A curved line on that side. Now I'm going to start with his arms. I'm going to draw him in his little car seat. So he's going to be kind of tucked in. So we're going to have some hair popping out. So I'm going to make two little zigzags. Kind of look like the letter W. Just like that. And I'm going to do that on this side too. Little W. Then I'm going to do a little straight line. And I'm going to do three little U's for pause. So there's one, two. Now on my third one, I'm going to bring it up and have it point kind of back towards that elbow. And I'm going to do some little points on these. You know, little doggy's got those claws. So we're going to repeat those same steps over on the other side. So I'm going to bring it in. Reuse, and then I'm going to bring that back towards the elbow and claws. All right, so now we got the upper body. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw out the whole bottom half of them. So I'm going to go from here, and we're going to bring a nice U shape down to the bottom there. All right. Now we're going to do his back legs. So I'm going to start with a little U over here. Just like that. And we're going to do pretty much the same on the bottom as we did on the top. So I'm going to do three little U's. And on that third one, we're going to bring it back. Just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna draw the rest of his leg. We're gonna have it coming up, and then it's gonna curve back, just like that. So he's kind of looking like a little dog laying on his back with his legs in the air, super, super cute. Okay, so we're gonna do everything we did on that leg over here. So I'm gonna start with that U shape. So I'm gonna draw a U that touches at the bottom there. And then I'm going to add three U's. And on that third one, we're gonna bring it back on down. And I'm gonna connect that leg up. So leg up and back, just like that. We need to add those toenails to our little doggy. Now we're drawing Mont. Oh, excuse me. We're drawing Manchi in his car seat, so we're going to draw the straps that are keeping him in his seat. So we're going to do that strap in the middle. So we're going to draw kind of like an oval shape here, right in the middle. And I'm going to divide that down, just like that. Now he's going to have another little strap buckle down here. So I'm going to draw a circle that kind of goes behind his legs. And that's going to have a little button on it. So I'm going to draw a little circle here. I think his feet are kind of getting in the way, so we don't see that too well. But yeah, we got it. All right. So we're going to strap him in. So we're going to draw one strap that's going to come around his legs here. So strap down. And now this is going to branch off to the side. So we're going to draw it connected to the top. So I'm going to do two, and then I'm going to bring it out like that. And then these are going to go up around his shoulders and get him strapped in. So I'm going to go up to his shoulder, and then I'm going to follow that line. And we're just going to repeat those steps over here. Curved up to the shoulder. I think this arm's going to get in the way a little bit, so I'm going to go behind it. All right, so now Mr. Manchi is strapped in. So now we got to draw that little car seat that he's sitting in. So um, I'm gonna go up 
to the top here, and we're going to just draw kind of a curved line. It's keeping them in there. And then we're going to follow it. Come on over and bring it back into the body. Kind of like where that W or that fur sticking out. It's kind of a good spot for that. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So imaginary line through the lit, through the ear. And bring it on down. Now we're going to continue that car seat down around his bottom. So we're going to draw a straight line and another straight line over here. And we're going to connect them. So bring it in and connect with kind of a curved line. Now we need to draw the little cushion that he's sitting on. So we're going to add that right into here. So I'm going to go and follow my outer line a bit, just like that. And we're going to do that same thing up on the top. So I'm going to kind of come in from his cheek, go behind. You can see where that goes, kind of bring it back around back into that cheek and I think our final little step we're gonna put pop a couple little whiskers on Monchi he's got whiskers on his cheeks so I'm gonna do three little straight lines coming out of this cheek and three little lines coming out of this cheek and there it is all right friends we drew Monchi from the Mitchells versus the Machines. So um, you can go to the front of the video if you want to see how I colored it. Of course, if you want to just make this into a random pug that's in a car seat, you can do that. Or you can color it fantasy colors. Totally up to you. You're the artist. I hope y'all enjoyed that, and we will see you next time.